All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your wildlife photos without doing too much of editing. So these are just simple tricks that you can do with your wildlife photos if your fans are struggling to make them look better and you don't know what to do in Photoshop. I'm gonna show you some couple tricks that you can do to make this look better. So this is the first photo we will do and this is how it will look like. And this is the second one. And this is how this one will look like. So basically it's the same process you can do to many photos. If you are a wildlife photographer, you can just do this to your photos and they will look a lot better if you do this really precisely and really good. So try to stick around until the end and don't forget to subscribe and like this video so I can make more of these videos for everyone. All right, now first thing, obviously open this photo into Photoshop. Right, so once you got it open in Photoshop, let's make a duplicated version of this layer from the photo. Just press Ctrl J. Now, if you press right mouse, we can convert this to a smart object so we can work inside this layer. We can always do changes later. Right, so once you have the smart object, let's first go to filter, camera raw filter. And with camera raw filter, we can do these changes that we want to do to a photo without doing some heavy editing inside Photoshop. Right, so for camera raw filter, usually the most important parts are these here from basic and some from the detail here for sharpening. So first of all, if you have a lot of noise in your photo, make sure to bring up the noise reduction all the way up or somewhere around this range here. Right, so you can also do some color noise reduction to make this look better with the colors. Now I would obviously also do some sharpening here to make sure the quality stays good. We don't want to lose the quality of the photo. Now, the next thing to do is let's go to basic here. If you have a older version of camera raw, it might look a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same settings. You have all these settings. All right, first thing to do is to get the exposure right. So for this one, I will drop this a bit. It's a bit too light for me. So just a little bit like minus 15, something like this. Right now, let's also do some highlights here. We don't want to have these highlights we want to get rid of them first. Let's drop these highlights and also the whites. If you have too much white, you're just gonna ruin it. So let's drop these. And that's pretty much it for this. And we can also do a little bit of texture here to make this details pop out like that. All right, so press okay. And that's it for this for now. Now, the next thing to do is to make this image softer. We need to brush a little bit with the burn and dodge tool. The burn and dodge tool you can find here. For the burn tool, we're gonna make areas darker with the dash tool, we can make areas lighter. Right, so first let's make a layer, a new layer on top of all these layers and go to edit and select fill. And with fill, we can make a separate layer that we can adjust later on without editing the original photo. Right, so we have this gray here. If you change the blend mode offlay, you won't see it anymore, but we can do some changes inside this layer. All right, first of all, let's do burn tool. Now, if you select the burn tool, let's make this big. And here you want to select midtones and let's give it somewhere around 40. And let's do a bit of burn. Let's even drop this more to something like 30, maybe 20 even. Just like that. And just do a bit of burn to this deer. Right, so we get these dark areas now, as you can see. And just maybe even less. Let's do something around 20, 10. And with this one, we get a nice contrast between the background and this deer on the foreground, right? So let's first do this. And that's pretty much it. And you can see the difference, it get a bit darker. Now, next thing to do is create a new layer again. And this one I'm gonna fill with 50% gray again, same as we did before. Change the blend mode to overlay and select the touch tool. And this is a really important part because now we can highlight the highlights. So first of all, let's zoom in here. Let's make sure we have highlights here selected and let's try to find a nice range. This is a bit too much. So I'm gonna drop this maybe 30, 40. And you can see here we have lighting coming from that side here, right? So let's first make sure we get highlights on this side of this tier. So try to do this precisely, zoom in a bit here and do it like this. So you have some sort of a stroke on the left side of this tier. Do it here. And when you get to points that are a bit darker, you can drop the opacity. Make sure you stay inside this, this layer 
or I mean this deer itself and not in the background, right? So make sure you do this inside this deer. So if you zoom in a lot, you can do this really precisely if you want. Right, so that's it for this. And now we can drop this even more. And let's find the highlights on this tier. We get some highlights here. Let's drop this even more because we don't want to ruin this image. We have some highlights here, a little bit here, here, not much there. Some here. You see his mane here or fur, whatever that is, is sticking out from its ear. We can brush that a bit. Don't do it too much. It's going to change the color and a bit there. Right, so just simple editing like that. And you can see here, this is a bit too light here, right? So we're just gonna drop the opacity, maybe even make a mask here and select the black brush. Make sure you select the, the normal black brush here from the menu and drop the opacity somewhere in 20, maybe 30 and just get rid of it a bit like that. And now if we put this into one folder, you can see the difference. We did some little bit of editing and it still looks natural and we didn't change the photo actually, we just edited it later. Now to move on, let's create a uh, curves on top of this. Let's see, let's move this here. Let's bring up the highlights. And let's bring the dark petals a bit to the right, like that. And let's make sure we put this in the folder so we can see the difference like that. Right, and maybe drop the opacity a bit so you can see the difference. And after that, you can go back to camera raw filter. And if you open up the colors here, color grading, you can do changes to not color grading, color mix. You can do changes to the color here if you want to make this better. But if you are lazy with the colors, you can also just use the calibration here and slightly edit these colors to make this look better. And this is just the final step to make this all look like a good photo. Right, so that's pretty easy to do. All right, let's do this photo now. This deer here, let's edit this photo. Right, so first open this up in Photoshop, obviously, and press Ctrl J to duplicate this. Press right mouse to convert this to a smart object. And now it's time to go to camera filter and filter. Right, so first of all, if you zoom in here, you can see here we have some noise in the background and we want to get rid of that first. So let's first get rid of the noise here. So if we crank this all the way up, you can see here we get rid of all that noise. But we want to make sure this image still looks natural. So you can see here the difference if we move this all the way up, it's gonna get too soft. So I'm gonna go for a range somewhere here and give it a bit of a sharpening so we don't lose the quality of this image. So something like this will be fine. You can even play with this one if you want to make it better. I'm gonna leave it like this to leave it like that because I think this is fine for now. Right, so next thing to do is to get the lighting right. The lighting is pretty good here, so I don't wanna mess it with it too much, but I would make it a bit darker and also bring the whites a bit down so we have some nice white balance. Right, so the contrast, let's give it a bit more contrast and let's drop the highlights so we don't get these white tones in the background. Right, so that's pretty much it here. And you can also give it a bit of a texture and some clarity. And that's it. And let's not do anything more in camera now. The next thing to do is to start with brushing the darker and lighter areas. You can see the difference here, it got a bit darker. So what I wanna do next is create a new layer, then go to edit, fill. And with fill, we have this separate layer that we can work in. And if we change the blend mode to overlay, you don't see the layer itself, only what you're doing inside this layer, right? So let's first select the burn tool and do some burn here. We want to make sure we see the details. So I'm gonna select midtones here and just burn this here. As you can see here, we get to see all these details from this, from this deer here. So let's do some burn here. Maybe even drop it more on its face, some here. Actually, you want to do this on this whole body, right? So we get nice darker tones here. So you can see the difference here. You can see this deer a lot better now. And when you get to th things like this, you need to make the brush smaller so you don't burn the background, but only inside this deer. I'm not going to do this really precisely or else the video is going to get too long. I'm just going to show you quickly to do this. 
if you want to do this really good, you have to zoom in and do this really precisely everywhere. Right, so to see the difference before, after, it got a bit darker. Let's make a new layer again and fill this with 50% gray again, change the blend mode overlay. And this time I'm gonna select the dodge tool. With the dodge tool, we can lighten up these lighter areas. So let's select highlights here and let's find a nice exposure for this. This is too much, so it needs to be less. This is also too much, so it needs to be really low here. And try to lighten up these areas. So you get nice details from this deer. You can also do this eye here like this to make his eye a bit lighter. So you can see this better. And try to find these lighter areas, these fur here on this side, this side, here, 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 here. Just all these areas that are sticking out. Don't do too much here because you can see here we get some really white fur there. So we don't want to do it much there. Here a bit. Also do some here, here. Right, so here, here. You can do this really precisely, but as you can see here, I just doing this quickly to show you how to do the dodge and burn. And if we check the difference, you can see here, we get a nice highlights on this deer now. And this way you're gonna separate the deer from the background a lot better than without doing this editing to it. Right, so something like this. Now, this is a bit too much for my feeling, so I would drop the opacity here. A bit too 90, 80, 90%. And if you wanna make this cooler, you can do it like on these areas, zoom in and make them all like almost white. Like the lighting is hitting it there. Oh, it's a bit not right here, like that. Just like that. So you need to do some brushing actually inside your image to make it look better. Maybe here, here, here. Especially these lighter parts here that you can really light up to make this pop out. Something like this. All right, that's enough for this. I'm not gonna do it too much or else it's gonna get too much. So this is fine for me. And now what we want to do is go back to camera raw and in camera raw we can make the colors right. So you can obviously go to color mixer to change these color tones to make this look better. Let's see, maybe a bit more to that side. And I think this is this is okay for the colors. Maybe a bit less oranges because we have like this night or evening sunset thing going on. I think my cat is going crazy there. All right, so this is okay. And now what I want to do is let's go back to camera raw. Maybe we can make it a bit sharper here so we don't lose the quality of this. And now we want to make sure the bottom part here is a bit darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gradient here. And this time I'm gonna select some tones from, let's let's see what kind of tones we, hear, we have here. Something like this in this range and darker. Create a gradient. And here, just select this one. Let's leave it like that. And we can try out soft light, overlay, or just normal, whatever works best. It all depends on your photo. Let's leave it at normal. I'm gonna do it like this. And with a black brush inside this mask, we can remove some parts here. So obviously you don't want to make this deer dark because let's see the brush, because this deer is the most important thing of this composite or it's actually for another composite. And you wanna brush this lighter again. So do this precisely. You can see here, I, I don't really do this precisely because I just wanna show it quickly. So something like this and maybe a bit here so it doesn't get dark, right? So you can see the difference we get a bit more like he's popping out this photo, the difference here, and you can even drop this. Don't do it too much. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new, and I hope to see you in the next one.